Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at and whatever time you're seeing this actual video. Uh, this is Austin Lawrence, your mountain biking MLO. I am bringing you the uh, Sonoma County market update for Friday, uh, October 22nd. So thank you very much for watching, attending, being here. Uh, really appreciate it and uh, hope you get some value out of this actual uh, presentation. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen. Uh, I have a presentation that I usually prepare with regards to this just to keep me kind of on track and uh, make sure that I'm hitting all the um, relevant points with regards to the update. So uh, here it is. All right. So give me one second. Let me get the presentation started. Uh, again, just want to thank you very much for attending. Uh, I really appreciate any opportunity to go ahead and share with you um, anything about the real estate market. Uh, if you don't know, um, my name is Austin Lawrence. I'm mountain biking MLO, uh, avid mountain biker. I uh, love this area for that particular reason. And I um, also like to uh, share the fact that I am actually a mortgage broker. Uh, which means that we're termed a mortgage loan originator. And that's kind of what I do is I focus on the finance side. But I'm always happy to share with you information or insight that I've gained from my uh, interactions and experience in the market. So uh, the focus today is Cloverdale, California. So if you've never heard of Cloverdale, I strongly recommend you make it out there. It is one of those gems that a lot of people don't know about. Um, it's right by Lake Sonoma. Uh, so kind of the source of the Russian River uh, area, and it is just north of Geyserville on the 101 freeway. So the question today is, what will $500,000 buy you in Cloverdale, California? And the answer is really awesome. A lot, um, because this is one of those times I've been doing some of these other communities like Petaluma and um, Guerneville, obviously. Uh, Forestville, Sebastopol, um, and what I'm often finding, especially like Sonoma County, um, is that most of these homes for $500,000, you're really not going to get a lot. You're going to have to be one of those just savvy searchers and, and have a good team behind you with regards to a real estate agent and mortgage professional. Okay, let's get started. Uh, my NMLS number is 225079. All right, so let's... Uh, shift this around really quick. Um, so Cloverdale is a city in northern Sonoma County. Uh, it's just north of Geyserville. Oop, got a typo in there, my apologies. Um, the San Francisco and North Pacific Railroad reached Cloverdale in 1872. Why is that important? Um, one of the things that really developed this area in particular is that railroad and getting lumber and um, all of those resources, obviously when the gold kicked in in the 1860s. Uh, to San Francisco. So that really kind of traces back the history of this particular area and its development. Um, so uh, the actual pictures are what I would imagine an ideal uh, home in Cloverdale is, a uh, nice porch, some great seats, um, as well as there's a really um, pretty famous bridge out there. And that is Lake Sonoma that you're seeing. Um, so the Cloverdale Rancheria of Pomo Indians of California is headquartered here. So this is one of those um, sovereign nations that um, is worth you exploring to see more about the history of California. Okay, let's get into some of the numbers and the statistics. So Sonoma County, um, how is the community, specifically Cloverdale? Um, it has a rich agricultural past like most of the uh, places in Sonoma County and it's home to the Pono tribe. So what is the state of home sales and the market conditions? Etc. market rates in Sonoma County. The loan limit in Sonoma County is 707,250, which makes this an ideal place for you to really get that conventional loan. Um, unfortunately, anything over 548 at this point up to 707 would be considered a high balance loan just for terminology sake. But um, I do have a lender that goes up to 625. So really your window is 625, which for most of the homes in Cloverdale, uh, with like a 10% down payment, 5% down payment, that would put you in that window for the conventional rates. So I uh, strongly recommend you reach out to me uh, if you are looking and let's see what we can do for you. Um, home sales slowed because of supply and demand. Uh, this market is slowing. Uh, it's just a natural kind of precursor to the, the fall season. Uh, big factors are school starting, COVID restrictions, and appraisal term times, which 
I have a couple lenders that are fixing that problem. So we are able to get those loans closed in a lot faster of a time frame. Uh, again, just want to remind you the conventional loan limit currently is 548250. I do have two lenders, two lenders that will allow you to go up to the 625. That's pre the new FAFH um, guidelines. So the uh, the important thing about this community is um, contingencies and a lack of concessions are the norm for this market. We often see people just getting rid of a couple of the contingencies um, to make the offer more enticing, as well as offering above listing price. Um, interestingly, in Cloverdale specifically, we are seeing a lot of those um, asking price and sale price um, difference is a decrease. So we're seeing offers that are accepted below what the list price was. Um, obviously, there are some above too as well. But um, generally speaking, this is a really reasonable house. And what they're listing it as, you're probably going to get the house right around that, that actual price. Uh, loan or appraisal contingencies are frequently being removed. Um, that's kind of the two that we're seeing. And then home inspections will usually stay in place, which is smart. Um, in addition, most buyers are continuing to bid um, above asking price. Um, this is Sonoma County mainly, and we're continuing to see appraisals coming in below purchase price. And that's just because the lack of, um, we, they go back three to six months. So we have to look at actual sales. And if it just sold, it's not being you know, properly updated in the system for them to use it. So that explains that. All right. We're going to stop uh, just talking in generalities. I want to get very specific. So Sonoma County, uh, average sale price in Sonoma County is around 720000 So that's what I was talking about. If you actually put that 5%, 10% down, you can get to the six twenty five dollars for my two lenders. Um, otherwise, you probably are going to be what's considered a high balance loan or in a lot of cases with these um, more elevated home prices, um, you're going to be a jumbo loan, which are unique loans. So you definitely want some help and support when you're looking at those options. Uh, average rate is right around 3%, 30-year fixed, 20% down, 760 credit. Um, as I ran stuff yesterday, there was a little bit of a switch, and we went to like 3.18, 3.24 um, on those rates. But as I was doing this yesterday, uh, we had 3.01. It was 265. So uh, average home sales in about 37 days in Sonoma County. Uh, 44 days was last year's numbers. Uh, home sold, we have 624 in September. Uh, last year was 623. Um, and that is just in the month that's, um, I mean, year to date. So there's really not a market shift that we're seeing in Sonoma County. It's, it's kind of leveling off. So uh, active listings in Sonoma County, according to Realtor.com, we have about 1,704. And many homes are getting multiple offers. So average home will sell about 2% above list price and go pending, meaning we get an offer and it's been accepted. And we're about to close it in about, excuse me, 37 days. Um, all right, so let's get into Cloverdale. Cloverdale, um, average home in Cloverdale is selling at about 619. Um, I'm seeing huge uh, shifts because you have a lot of like one, $2 million wine country properties. And then you have some of the conventional just real estate properties um, that are normal for the market. Uh, active listings, there are 63 in Cloverdale. So this is one of those markets you can really capture. And then as I was running the rates for this, as I do most weeks, I ran specifically Cloverdale this morning, uh, got a 3.28 on a 30 year fixed uh, loan amount was 548. I just wanted to stay within that conventional loan limit, but I can do this up to 625 at this point. Uh, purchase price 589. And that's with the 760 credit. Um, we are seeing what happens with your credit is as you go from like 700 to 720 to 740 to 760, your mortgage insurance payment increases, which means if you're not putting 20% down, that payment will add to your principal interest, taxes, insurance, and then you'll have that PMI or what we call the MI mortgage insurance. And as your credit lowers, that mortgage insurance payment rises. Okay, so average home sales in about 72 days. I know this seems a little bit long, but we're seeing this is not one of those quick turnaround markets. So this is pretty much normal for most markets anyway to have that um, kind of two month uh, process. Um, homes sold, there are 144 year to date in this particular area, which is a 2.3 increase from 2020. Um, and home prices are up 
over the last year. In fact, if you do own a home, uh, we're seeing that you're probably gained about over this last year, at least 35% equity. So it's, it's a good time to upgrade uh, and make some adjustments, if not pull out some cash to make some improvements in the home. Um, and ADUs are a big thing, just so you know. And if you didn't know, um, Cal Hafa is actually offering a $25,000 grant if you're willing to build an ADU. And I have a builder and financing in place if that's an option you wanna explore. So please reach out. I would love to share that with you. All right, let's get into some examples. As I usually do, I wanted to give you uh, an example of a sold listing that was very recent. So we kind of see what is happening in the market. This is 30 East Cherry Creek Road. Uh, one of the things that I found surprising about this particular listing is they only had one picture. Um, so this was it, and uh, at least they have a hummingbird feeder. Um, so I really couldn't get a good view of this house, um, and I just wanted to share that this one sold 1020, so it's the most recent sale. It was listed at 529 and ended up selling for 515. Uh, it's a three-bedroom, one bath, about 1,200 square foot home. Okay. So let's get into some of the more active listings right now. If you are looking, uh, I love this home. I, was, I ended up cruising it for quite a bit. Large lot, great front yard, nice backyard, um, just really newer home, newer construction. So this is on a Monaco Circle. Um, and the actual asking price is $684,950. Um, it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 1800 square foot home. Beautiful, love the pictures, love the home, had some great upgrades. So this is definitely one that I would recommend you take a look at if it's within your, uh, your price budget. Um, and as you saw with that other sold listing, it was listed at 529, ended up selling a little bit below market. So there's some good opportunities here in this particular market. Okay. So let's get on to uh, the next one, which as I try to do, I wanted to pick something that you could actually go walk through this weekend. Uh, this one actually has an open house on Sunday from one to four. It's 113 Treadway Court in Cloverdale. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't really do too much research as I was kind of getting into crunch time. So just to be honest with you, I believe this is a townhome or condominium or at least an attached home from the perspective I got looking at the pictures really quick, but uh, you have to kind of find out on your own. Uh, it's listed at 475, three bedroom, two and a half bath, about 1500 square foot. So this is a cool one. Um, if you want more information, I got these from redfinrealtor.com. Um, obviously, I do dabble in Zillow, Trulia um, as well, which are both the same company. Um, and I do kind of peruse some of the other just marketing realtors in the area just to see what they're kind of putting on there. Coldwell, um, you know, some of the big ones. W Real Estate seems to be really big in this area. Um, and so let me give you some of my recommendations on the mortgage side. These are my housing recommendations. So if you are looking to uh, get into purchasing a home in this particular area, um, what is an ideal mortgage product or program for purchases in Cloverdale? Most high-end properties are receiving all cash. Oops, another spelling error on. We'll fix that for you. Cash offers. Um, so to those clients, I strongly recommend what's termed delayed financing. Buy the house with cash. Do whatever you got to do. I'm not sure why you would spend $1.2 million in cash, but in reality, you can go ahead and finance that after the fact. We call it delayed financing. And it's an option that a lot of people don't know they have because sometimes you dive into just spending your cash on a home. And then you realize, oh, I'd like to have some of that cash back because I'd like to do some other things with it. And I'm okay with maybe uh, turning this into a rental or just you know covering that mortgage in a little bit more of a specific sense rather than just having um, expended all my cash for this particular home you may have some idea of what you want to do with that cash, i.e. buy another home or improve this particular property. So it's good to use the delayed financing to pull that out. Um, for first time home buyers, which is mainly the market that I deal with uh, most of the time, uh, the processing rates are perfect for you to buy in this area and still receive a great rate and a good purchase price. So I recommend the 3% down payment programs like Home Ready, Home Possible. Um, they are just great for this particular area. Uh, again, home ready, home possible are based on 80% um, AMI, so the average medium income for this area. So if that criteria doesn't fit, there are some great programs still that allow you to do that 3% down. Okay, 
Thank you very much. I know I went a little bit over my 10 minute time period, but uh, let me just share with you my contact information. Please reach out. I would love to give you um, more information or to kind of explore some of these um, ideas that I've been introduced to you or just talk about in general Sonoma or some of the cities. So again, my name is Austin Lawrence. I am your mountain biking MLO. That's my uh, Facebook and uh, my Instagram. So if you're looking for it, that's where you will find it. Uh, I have my email and phone number. So reach out, shoot me a text. Uh, I would love to interact with you or let's set up a Zoom so we can talk uh, more specifically and I can share some stuff with you. Uh, if you would like this um, PowerPoint, uh, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to kind of shoot it out to you and I will make those corrections before I do that. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And again, as I always say, this is Austin Lawrence, your mountain biking MLO, NMLS number 225079. And I will see you on the trail.